welcome to this sort of new format of uh, art videos. I'll be going through most of the process of this one. There was a quick sketch in the beginning that I did. It was a sort of an offhand thing and it turned out uh, decent. So I decided that I would take that and um, do a full piece with it. Which is this piece here. A fun sort of fantasy, kind of dark fantasy goblins living underground. So I'll take you from that rough sketch to this piece here that you can see in not the best lighting. There we go, that's a bit better. And then at the end I'll have the image scanned in so you can take a good look at it. Um, this is going to be a new format video, so let's see how this works. I'm not really used to being on camera and talking, uh, so excuse my uh, slow speech. So as you can see here, I've got a basic mid-tone gray, basically for the entire background. And I'm going to start by inking in all of my pencil marks. Normally I wouldn't go so heavy on the ink um, if I was doing something more realistic, but for this piece, uh, because it's so dark and because um, I'm going for kind of a metal album cover look, like lots of dark shadows, uh, I don't mind so much having all these lines and later I can lighten anything that seems too comic booky uh, with some highlights and some blending with gel pen and some paint. The main thing I want to do here with these marks is very clearly define where the characters and the background are separated. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the willow charcoal I used for the background um, I was applying it very safely because I knew I could come back in with pencil and uh, clean it up, but the figures have a lot of negative space around them and that's part of the reason it looks so muddy. Just wanted to find this smoke trail from the pipe. Coming in with a, a white paint pen to help get rid of some of the dark from smudges and and whatnot there. So this is pre-coffee, so forgive me for being a little groggy, a little out of it. It hasn't changed much. I haven't done anything off camera yet, aside from the, the base charcoal that you saw when I started the inking, which for that I've been using these uh, Microns by Sakura, looks like. <clears throat> Um, these are really nice. Thinking about bringing in some ink. Um, I've been doing that a lot recently with my pieces. I really like how smoothly you can put the dark blacks on, especially for night skies. Probably not going to use it in the same way on this piece as I did with the uh, the three uh, cultists or harbingers. This one's getting pretty close to being finished. I'm hoping to get to that again soon. Uh, not coffee actually, but I did find a, some chai tea in there. Um, I actually like tea more as far as drinking it goes, but it doesn't have quite the same kick as uh, coffee. But we will make do. Um, 
I'm filming at kind of a weird angle. You can see that's my arm out kind of straight, so this should be interesting. Glove. Can't forget that. Especially with this charcoal. Get way too many smudges. And we are back to more defining pen work. There's a lot of it in this piece. <laughs> and now we begin the tree, which this was, um, I thought this was going to be a pain, but it was actually kind of fun. I basically, what I did was I just made a bunch of cells to kind of represent the, the chunks of bark you see on some rougher trees, and then um, fill that in with a kind of wooden squiggly texture. But, uh, here at this point, after doing a bunch of this for a long time, my hand was starting to cramp, so I took the rest of the day off. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get back to it. You can see here I'm starting to bring in some pencil to blend with the ink and add some dark shadows. I'm using um, Staedtler Mars Lumograph pencils. They've got a high carbon content, so they don't really make a shine. They, they darken quite nicely, and they go really well with pens. Just cleaning up the trees and the branches, defining some things, adding some more textures. Finishing that all off. Taking the Staedtlers and darkening up my sky and backgrounds. For moons, what I like to do is I like to just kind of lay down some almost random textures and see what uh, kind of formations I can start to see and then pick those out with some pen and pencil uh, otherwise it looks uh, too constructed again just more defining the darks bring the shadows in occasionally touching up the smoke and other highlights. It helps to give your um, dark rocks uh, some glints on their edges. Helps define the sharpness. Makes them look kind of craggy and dangerous and just more rock-like. And here I lost my drying glove again. I recently bought four of those. Because with this piece especially, if you don't have something on your hand, my entire image was going to be a smudgy, cloudy mess. Just alternating between white pens and uh, pencil and ink to almost sculpt the shapes I'm looking for, defining things better. Just cleaning everything up. All right. So I'm getting down to the nitty gritty fine details at this point, and I've showed most of them, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to take this and touch it up a little bit off camera. Uh, just mostly highlights, shadows, maybe smoothing out some of the terrain here. 
Uh, when I really finalize everything, I will show you the image again. Probably take a high quality photograph or scan it in if it'll fit on my scanner. So I will be back after doing a few more touch-ups. All right, I just finished scanning in the image. Had to do it in a couple different parts and put it all together, but it looks smooth now. So, <clears throat> we can call this one done. Apologies for the glare, but uh, yeah, finally. <laughs> so that's it, that's the piece, that's the video. Um, thank you everybody who decided to watch this, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was uh, a newer kind of video for me, uh, much longer, and uh, with me actually talking in it, still something I'm not exactly comfortable with, but we're going to try to uh, get better at this. So thank you again, and I'll see you in the next piece.